Subtopic number two, which is on Ohm's law and resistivity. Uh, so in this subtopic, you have to state and use Ohm's law and define and use resistivity. Okay, so Ohm's law is the experiment that you have did last week. So Ohm's law states that the potential difference across a conductor is proportional to the current flowing through it if its physical conditions and temperature are constant. So kalau temperature tidak constant, Ohm's law cannot be... Uh, what's the word? Cannot be, I don't know the word, but they did that jadi Ohm's law lah. They did a follow Ohm's law. Kalau the temperature tidak constant and the physical condition tidak constant. So this is also the graph that you've drawn for experiment two. Uh, so theoretically, you should be obtaining a graph that is like this. Ini paling best fit lah. Tapi ada juga yang dapat begini lah, begini lah. Tidak tahu lah kenapa. So, the gradient of this graph will be telling you the resistance punya value. So, for your experiment tu, dia akan bagi tahu kamu punya effective resistance lah. Okay, so V is potential difference. R is current. R is resistance. So, material or obey ba pula the word. So, the materials that obeys Ohm's law are called ohmic conductor. Okay, kalau yang bukan ohmic conductor tu, the one yang tidak obey Ohm's law lah. Okay. So, uh, materials that obey Ohm so basically have constant resistance over a wide range of voltage lah. So, across all this value of voltage ni, there must be other resistance yang constant. Okay. So, resistance is a property which opposes ataupun limit the current flow. Okay. So, it is defined as the as a ratio of the potential difference across an electrical component to the current passing through it. Okay, so remember, uh, resistance ni mesti adalah untuk current flow. Dia tiap boleh tiada resistance, okay? So, the equation for resistance is the one shown here, R equal to V over I. It is basically V equal to I R. They rearrange untuk R dapatlah V over I. So, ele all electrical devices of uh, such as heater, light bulb, ataupun, oh, such as heater ataupun light bulb, they offer resistance to flow of current. It is a scalar quantity with the unit of ohm. Symbol is basically this one. Uh, so, in a circuit, if the resistance is constant, we all know that the voltage and the current will increase. Okay? Ataupun, it is basically directly proportional to each other. Lah. Okay? Uh, so, resistance of any wire of conductor is this one here. So, this is... Uh, did I explain? Or I didn't? Hmm. Wait. Oh, dear. Okay, so what this equation is telling you is the resistance is directly proportional to its length. And then it is inversely proportional to the area. Okay. It is also proportional to the resistivity of the material which the conductor is made. So it depends on the type of material. Stuff. Okay. So I didn't tell you what is L, what is A, but you should know this is length, it is its area. Lah. Okay. Uh, basically, the row here which is the resistivity. Lah. So it is a measure of the material's ability. To oppose the flow of an electric current. Okay. So, uh, it is defined as the resistance of a unit cross-sectional area per unit length of the material. So, they're sama juga lah. They're, just, they're pun resistance juga, tapi dia per unit length. So, instead of just ohm, they're ohm meter. Okay. Ohm meter. So, this is the equation for resistivity. So, it depends on the type of material and the temperature lah. A good electrical conductors will have very low resistivities and good insulators pula, they can add a very high resistivities, okay? So, high resistivities ni maksudnya dia punya ability untuk oppose the flow of an electric current lagi efficient lah, lagi bagus. Uh, so, this table is showing you some of the types of materials and its resistivity at 20 degree Celsius. So, the temperature is constant lah. Uh, so yeah, that's basically just the types of materials and its resistivity. Okay, so let's go on to example 3 and example 4. So a 1.5 meter length of wire 
has a cross sectional area of 5 times 10 negative 8 meter square when the potential difference across its ends is 0.2 volt so the voltage is 0.2 volt it carries a current of 0.4 ampere the resistivity of the material Oh, the resistivity of the material material from which the wire is made is this tanya lah, berapa nilai resistivity dia? So this is we have to use the equation of resistivity R A over L. And since we do not have the value of resistance, but we know that the formula for resistance is V over I, we can then substitute this V over I into this equation. Kita dapat macam ni. So, this is A over L. Okay? So, kamu akan dapat um, 0.2. This is 5 times 10 negative 8 over 0 0.4, 1.5. So, the resistivity is equal to 1.667 times 10 to the power of negative 8 ohm meter so it is 1.667 so it is made of copper okay so in the other the material is copper lah. uh so alam tidak lah babagi suruh kamu bagi tahu apa dia punya material usually they just ask for the number okay kamu tidak akan kena bagi the table so kamu tidak perlu tulis pun lah they are made of copper but this is basically the value of resistivity for copper lah. Okay. Uh, example number four pula. We have two copper wires. Have the same cross-sectional area. But have different lengths. Wire X has a length L. Wire Y has a length of 2L. The ratio between the resistance of wire Y and wire X is. Okay, dia tanya. Wire Y against wire X is what? Mm, so we know that the cross sectional area is the same. So this is just A lah. Sekarang dia minta resistance. We know that resistance is equal to rho LXA. And untuk Y adalah rho L A Y over A. Eh, kan pasal tulis A tu. Y. Okay. So sekarang kita perlu the ratio of wire Y over the wire X. Sekarang ni kamu just perlu substitute these two equations macam ni. Okay, so cancel apa yang boleh kena cancel. Uh, basically, row A can be cancel. And you will get LY over LX. Now you can substitute. This is 2L. This is L. So the ratio of y to x is 2 lah. Okay. So I need to love the solution for example number 4. Okay. So the mostly questions lalu ni akan tanya pasal ratio juga lah. So you have to be able to solve it this way lah. Okay. Alright, so that is on example 4 and that is basically for subtopic number 2.